I'm Lori Kornblum. I am your instructor for ZERD 204-450. Welcome. This is a brand new class. It's the first time it's being offered. That's because career essentials are a relatively new item in MATC's suite of assessments. Um, these are designed to assess students on what's called soft skills or job readiness skills. Through this class, you will learn how to find the career essentials and attach them to at least one assessment in your class and you will be ready for when MATC rolls this out as something that they want all instructors to be doing. So just to take you through this class, um, when you open up your page, your class, you will come to the announcements page. Please be aware that I will be posting announcements from time to time and communicating with you. I always have an announcement emailed to your MATC email address. Uh, with a link to what I want and so check the the course. Faculty information is about me. You'll see that I uh, have an office at MATC but I am not there as much during the summer. I do have one scheduled office hour on May 31st immediately following the optional face-to-face -face class. However, I am available as requested and I'm happy to speak with you by phone or do a screen sharing arrangement or meet you in person. Um, my syllabus is posted under the syllabus tab. Um, first you'll see that there's a link to the course outcome summaries. For those of you unfamiliar, this is uh, the course outcome summaries tell you what you are supposed to be learning in this class. Um, this is linked to the standards of teaching excellence of assessment of student learning. Uh, those are external standards and there are three course competencies that you will learn. You will uh, to explain MATC's career essentials, to identify them in your course, and to assess your competency in one in student competency in one career essential in your course. You will see throughout the course that we refer to your course and that's because you will be using a live course that you teach or you are going to be teaching you will be using assessments that you already have or that you are creating for this live course. You will not be expected to develop a whole new course or whole new assessments. The class calendar is arranged in terms of weeks. We have three weeks for this one credit class and you will see how these are arranged. All assignments are due by Sunday night at 11.59 p.m. with the exception of discussion board parent posts which are due by Thursday night at 11.59 p.m. to allow other students to comment on your post and you to comment on theirs. You can work ahead in this class but do not fall behind without letting me know what the problem is. The class will shut down on June 17th at 11.59 p.m. I'm not sure why it says 11.69 p.m. but it's 11.59 p.m. obviously. The assignments are most of your grade. There's one quiz which is 18 points and, a dis and three discussion boards or 30 points. Since you are instructors, I'm assuming that you will all get A's in this class. You will have to lose that A in order to get lower than an A. You can check your grades at any time by looking at my grades. If you see this, you'll see that there are um, there are these I've organized in terms of due date, which is the easiest way to organize. And you, uh, this is the logging into WIDS is the first one, learning career essentials. So you have several small assignments. Um, do not be intimidated by these. I put these in the order in which you should do them. And they it, it is important to do them in order. I don't force you to do that, but you'll get less confused if you just do them in order. If you look at the due date calendar, which just is due dates, and you click through to June, all of your assignments are due in June, you can see what's due on what date. Uh, I will add in the discussion board parent posts. Um, and then you can, for example, click on an assignment and then for me it says edit, but for you it will be go to this assignment. You can just go straight to the assignment. I've organized the coursework into weekly assignments. And for every set of weekly assignments, you can click on the folder. And then in your weekly assignments, you'll see there's a discussion board for each week. And then two sets of assignments. 
In each set of assignments, there will be reading and learning materials and assessments. The reading and learning materials, many of them or most of them are actually linked to materials that are actually published elsewhere on METC's website. Um, so you'll see that some of them tell you more than you need to know, but just get out of it what you need to know. Uh, the, so you'll see in week one, week two, you have a set of assessments, uh, you have a discussion board and two units. As I said, I trust, strongly suggest that you do these uh, in order. And then for week three, you again have a discussion board and you'll have two assessments. Um, so if you need to communicate with me, you can either email me straight from the link in the course. You can do single select users and it will email right to me if you put my name down. Um, if you would like to communicate by course message, that is my preference. And I do check my course messages on most days. Um, you can see I've sent a test message to myself. It's in my inbox. And then when I click on it, it, it voila, it's there. So, and then I can reply to it. I can, I'm going to delete it now because I don't need it. Um, but for you to send a test message, a course message, you just say create message, you say to, you select the person that you want to send it to, and then I'm going to cancel this now. Um, and you can send out a course message. So that should explain everything to you. Um, I will be happy to meet with you. I'm having a, um, a voluntary uh, session on Thursday the 31st from 9 to noon and I will be happy to meet you there or just let me know what you need. Um, anyway, looking forward to a great summer. Bye -bye.